Here we go, day four. Jewish subscription just got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Sweet. Let's see what's going on the phone. Crime rate up 5% this month. Hmm. Crime's up 5%, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of the personnel. Okay. Uh, Alice Rabbit might be Kira. Mickey fan, okay. And who isn't? Everyone loves Kira Mickey, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what's the proof of this not so wacky theory. Keep reading if you want to know. It's an easy one, just, well, I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. <laughs> they keep hacking her stories. <laughs> Shocking Kira Mickey secret. Don't miss, oh, content blocks in your region. Fine. Fine. Okay, let's just go to work. Friday, December the 16th. Good evening. Yo, what's up, Jill? Oh shit, gunshots. Uh, seems you made it just in time. Uh, I think that's just a car backfiring. Okay. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Uh, have you ever heard a gunshot? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well. See, it sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's uh, too drier. Yeah, but gunshots give off more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Your boss, what's up? Firecrackers? Yep, a couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Okay, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. <laughs> Okay, music, go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Hi, I'm looking for some information. Who's this? Uh, what kind of information are you after? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed the Crimson Rose? Uh, sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Uh, nope. No good. I've got $80 here that might refresh your memory. <laughs> Don't bribe me. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <laughs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, uh... <laughs> and second, you're not going to get anywhere but offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, here we go, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? Uh... <laughs> Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. This guy don't get the point. If I don't know what he's talking about, then I can't help him anyway. Okay, that's how it works, right? I'll spend money. You give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, give me a drink. Keep it under $80. Wow, let's find a cheap drink. What we got? A gut punch. Oh, this will fuck him up. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five, a fan of guide. Karma train, give him one. Aged mix. There's your gut punch. There you go. Okay. Do you know anything about the girl? Nope. <laughs> but you said maybe, maybe not. Turns out it's maybe not. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, eighty dollars is nothing. So I need to spend more. This guy can't take a hint, can he? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing, and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order's right, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, Mr... Von Delay. Art Von Delay. 
Hmm. I'm a private detective. That's what I do. So I'd assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. And she's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' in internet nicknames. Okay, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got a letter with the instructions and a paycheck. Okay, so what if it's a prank? I've got the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. Okay. Still, any information or rumours you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Uh, why do you need that? It's always good to keep up with the local goings on. Well, let's see. Well... Sorry, can't think of nothing right now. Most of the conversations you hear in it aren't rumour worthy. Humour worthy, maybe. But not much about current events, at least not beyond what you see on the news. God damn, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? <laughs> what kind of film noir world do you think we live in? Do you want to know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you know something that might help me, Jill? I don't. Certainly don't. And I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. Yep. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise is that? You don't know? Asking for a reason, pal. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry about it. Aha, uh -huh, okay. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. Okay, what can I get you? I'll have a Grizzly Temple. Simple enough. Grizzly Temple. Okay. Three Aelder Hides. Three Bronson Estrax. What's it? Three Powdered Deltas. One Karma Tree. And Blend. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. Okay, bitter promo bland. There you go, have your bland, shitty drink. Okay, this is going to be deducted off the $80 from earlier, right? No. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. That, is that good? What? And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumours of the Harbringers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, not really. God damn. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name, the Harbingers, wasn't used. Oh, whoops. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumours that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even then, the international outlets aren't using the name the Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organisation yet for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the know told you about it. Well, he can be surprisingly sharp. <laughs> yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol signed. I mean, I'm sure I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Uh, I guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago, dealing with messy interns. Part of the course, I guess. Okay, that's a uh, gunshot. What? It's a backfire, my dude. Firecrackers! <laughs> yeah, what do you think that sound just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the crashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots! <laughs> if that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, gotta go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just have different needs. But there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again, 